get asked all the time, am I too old to become an insurance adjuster? Today, we're gonna address that issue. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplick it. CPLIC, or Kaplick for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IAPAT. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at IPAT, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to IPAT.com. Now to start off with, let's give you some stats. The average age of the insurance professional industry, that includes agents, adjusters, and everybody else, in 2018 was 59 years old. Also, one in four insurance professionals will be retired in the next four years, which creates 400,000 jobs that will need to be filled. So what does this all mean? It can mean two things. One, if you're young, there's tons of opportunity in the insurance industry. It's a $1.7 trillion industry after all, and people will be needed. Now, if you're older in your second or even third career, you can fit right in. There are a few things though to consider if you're older and want to become an adjuster. If you're considering doing property claims, how comfortable are you with climbing on a roof? Ask James Mathis how he feels about roofs and he isn't even that old. Well, not really. But falling off a roof is a real possibility and he's done it and now it's hard for him to do the job. If you have physical limitations, consider the type of claims you can physically handle. If climbing a ladder and walking on roofs doesn't fit well with your physical limitations, consider auto, liability, or some kind of desk adjusting. There's so much more opportunity than just property claims in our industry. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor. CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. The next question is, are you comfortable with computers? Although we are a people, business, and industry, our business is managed through computers. If you hate computers or don't have much experience with computers, it'll be a big hill to climb to learn the nuances that the younger generations understand about how to work with technology and computers. This is by far the biggest obstacle you may face if technology is not a strength for you. Now, do people discriminate on your age? Absolutely not. Uh, number one, it's illegal. And two, most people never even know your age based on your resume, unless you're telling them and you shouldn't be. The only negative responses I've seen from firms ha that they have towards older generations is that they struggle with computers and therefore struggle to complete their claims. But that goes for anyone, no matter the age. Now here's some tips for those who consider themselves possibly too old for adjusting. Focus on computer skills. If this is solid, then tackle the typical adjusting requirements of a license, training, etc. Make sure you craft your resume to show how your many life experiences will make you an amazing adjuster. You've done a lot in your life and you're a value to our industry. Show people that. If you need help, 
head to Amazon or ipath.com slash books and grab your copy of my book, The Adjuster's Resume Playbook. Get on LinkedIn and network, network, network. I'm serious. If you're pursuing independent adjusting, remember that you're building a business and building a business takes time, but can be very rewarding and a very profitable business, but it can take up to a year to find traction financially. Independent adjusting is not a poor man's game. It is costly to start a business, so don't expect to earn big your first few months. Make sure you're good financially as you pursue your new business. Only risk what you can afford to lose. Bottom line, we as an industry need your wisdom. Your life experiences are invaluable and the insurance industry would be lucky to have you. If you need a mentor, head over to iPath.com and check out our mentorship programs. We help people get started working in, a, in as little as 90 days with our online virtual mentorship programs. Until next time, keep walking your path and claiming your life. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV.